Hi there. Uh, I'm Matthew Rosenberg, a uh, comic book writer from New York City in the United States. Uh, you may know my work from books like Uncanny X-Men or The Punisher, uh, Rocket Raccoon, Tales of Suspense, New Mutants, Multiple Man, or maybe my indie books like Four Kids Walk No Bank or We Can Never Go Home. But I'm not here to talk about those books. I'm here to talk about my new book, Hawkeye Freefall. Uh, the first issue is in stores right now. Uh, and so you should head down to Forbidden Planet and grab a copy as soon as you finish watching this. But in the meantime, I want to tell you a little bit about the book. Um, it's a book I'm super excited about. Uh, it's I'm writing it. Otto Schmidt is on art. Uh, the amazing Kim Jacinto is doing our covers, which are beautiful. And it's basically just a book I've really wanted to do since I started writing comics. Uh, Hawkeye is one of my all-time favorite characters in all of comics. The book is this story of him as he faces down uh, the hood and this dangerous new Ronin who's uh, appeared and, and it's about him trying to fight people who are maybe a little bit out of his weight class and a little bit over his head um, all while trying to maintain his personal life and his professional standing as a, as a hero and, and just just balance those things and I, I think it, I think there's something about Clint that really makes stories like that work and makes them really something that speaks to people in, in a strong way and, and I hope we're tapping into that uh, if you're not familiar with Otto's stuff uh, you're in for a really huge treat because he is one of the best artists working in comics um, it's just a beautiful book so even if you find me super annoying I think it's definitely worth your picking up um you just don't read the words, just look at the nice art. Uh, yeah, we're just really excited about this book. It's, it's a, uh, Hawkeye is a book that I think is, is such a prestigious book to me and to a lot of fans, going back all the way to the original Mark Grunewald series and, and books like Avengers Spotlight. Um, but obviously Matt Fraction, David Aha's run and, and Jeff Lemire and Ramon Perez and Kelly Thompson and Leo Romero in recent years, like, Hawkeye is just this book where people go to tell stories that, that could only exist in Hawkeye books, and that's what we're trying to do here. We have a ton of cool guest stars. I can't list all of them, but, you know, some of them might dress like spiders or be the heroes of Hell's Kitchen and things like that. That's all I can say. Hawkeye is this book, this character and, and this book, and we're trying to pay tribute to this idea of uh, the, the valuable hero, the the guy who makes mistakes but is trying to do right. And I, I think there's something really important in that. And, and seeing the world through his eyes is, is something that I think is really inspiring and I, I, I think is really fun and interesting. And, and when, all, when all this is done and, and me and Otto have told our stories with Hawkeye, I think you're going to find that we've taken him to a place you haven't seen before and we're doing sort of new things with him while still looking back and paying tribute to the stuff that's come before. Um, you know, we're, we're throwing him up against the Hood, who I think is one of the great, great, most underutilized villains in the Marvel Universe. And the Hood is, is to me, uh, an amazing villain without a hero. He, he's, he never has, he doesn't have that foil. He just, he's never had that one nemesis. And I'm, I'm really trying to make it Clint Barton because I think there's something so perfect about the two of them going head to head. I have a strong love for Daredevil and and Daredevil and and the Kingpin and Matt Murdock and Wilson Fisk and and their feud and their rivalry and and their love of love of New York and their belief that they're right um but then then they they always have this sort of crisis of faith that that drives the story and I think we're going for a similar thing with Hawkeye and the Hood they're guys with similar backgrounds they're they're not mustache. They weren't mustache twirling villains, but both of them were people who didn't have anyone looking out for them. Clint Barton was lucky enough to have Captain America come in and be like, "You're better than this, and you can be a hero." And so he's an Avenger, and the Hood never had that. And and I think because of that, you end up with this great dynamic in the book where Clint sees a lot of himself, a lot of what he hates, and a lot of what he's fighting to get past and redeem himself for in the Hood. And the Hood sees a lot of himself in Clint. He sees a lot of a person who didn't get the breaks uh, finally getting one, and, and now he's a hero. And, and I think both of them, if if Daredevil and Kingpin are stories of crisis of faith, uh, 
Hawkeye and, and the Hood are, are characters who are in a crisis of, of self-confidence. And then we throw in the Ronin. Uh, Clint Barton used to be Ronin. Now there's a new Ronin. No one knows who it is. And it's sort of this element of Hawkeye's past, a mistake he made where he was too secretive and working too much in the shadows. And it's sort of come out again to haunt him. And, and so while he's looking forward and heading down this sort of dangerous path of going up against the Hood sort of his pat his own past is coming around behind him and menacing him and i think it's a really fun dynamic and i think when people find out who ronin is in our book uh there's going to be a lot of uh shocked people and um yeah i i just it's just a book i'm really excited about i hope you all give it a chance and check it out and uh it's in stores right now uh so pick it up at forbidden planet thank you so much happy new year